Right, so I had a comment recently where I, I commented on um, oh, Jan Beta's um, uh, <laughs> video where I noticed he had some um, EPROMs without stickers on the windows. So I commented on this saying, you know, it's an idea to stick them over, you know, stick stickers on to protect them, um, so they don't end up losing data. And someone commented on there um, recently saying, oh, you know, people only sort of propagate that myth to make themselves look important. So, oh, that's a bit offensive, but uh, anyway, I thought, okay, I'm going to do a bit of a theory video on this. I, um, my understanding is that if you expose it to UV light, they will lose data, just like you do when you stick a thing in a UV eraser for five minutes. Um, so, I'm going to um, prove this, hopefully. By I've done some test code here, so I actually started out doing ones, and just here I started out with ones, and then I've gone, I've just gone spaces in the end, all right? So this is a full chip data, right? It actually overflows because I've got too much data in there. Um, goes down to FF zero, and then it's where, that's where it's actually supposed to end, all right? So it actually overflows, but because I was just doing pastes, all right? So I've programmed the chip, and I've just proved that here. Let's get get back up to the top. Bit laggy this program this program's quite buggy it's not my best but anyway so because i've got it overflowing it's just saying this, this is warning but I could, don't worry about it it doesn't check past what the chip can hold all right so the chip data and what's in this window match okay so the data in the chip is the same as this now i'm going to save this um yeah i'll just save it as test video test that'll do um as a what works best? Um, some formats don't work properly in this program. It's a bit of a pain. I think I shall use binary. No. I think hex tech. Tech. I think it might be the one which works best. Um, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Let's save it as a test. Hex, come on. Hex file. Right. Okay. So I've got it saved. What the hell is this thing doing? It's awful. Anyway, because um, this program tends to crash, so that's why I'm the saving it. Alright. Um, so the. This like has crashed again. The um, So the data on the chip is, is known, okay? Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and stick this outside. It's quite an overcast day, but there is some sun. I'm going to go and stick it outside for an hour. And then have another look at it. See if it's changed. See if it's lost any data. Okay, one hour outside in the sun. All right? So full sun, if it's sitting on your desk and the sun's coming through the window, it'll be exactly the same. Um, the sun's on the other side of my house, so I don't get it here, but I'm going to put it the other side. All right, so I'm going to go and do that, and we shall see what happens. I'll do it for one hour, then if it's nothing changed, I'll do it for another hour. Nothing changed, I'll do it for another hour. It might take me a couple of days because I've got to go to work, but you know, yeah, we'll see. Here we go. Okay, so this took a bit longer than I thought. Um, now, this EEPROM, um, I just plugged into the reader and read the program back in, and as you can see, here's some data corruption. All right? So there's some bits here which have been corrupted. These are all supposed to be 20. Right. Now as you can see, you got you know, 3D, 2E, 26, 2A. A bit of corruption just there on that line. That line there has started to fail. I don't know if there's any others. Here we go, some more. There's another one just here. This is 21. Some more here. 22, so let's say 23. There's some more here. There we go. Alright, so this is basically in response to a comment which I had from someone on Jan Beta's uh, videos where I commented about uh, an EEPROM not having its window covered over and worried about maybe losing data but you know it gets exposed to light too much and um, I think the EEPROM itself didn't matter it's just a spare one which wasn't really needed to have programming on it and stuff anyway it's just a, just a part it wasn't really important this, in this instance I think but um, so someone commented saying that after I made that comment about needing, you know, covering up the EEPROM window to make sure it doesn't lose any data, 
Simon Comedy basically saying that um, that's a myth and that um, the only people who spread that kind of myth um, are people who try and make themselves look important, which I found quite offensive. You know, I'm just trying to help him to, you know, Jan Vita to not accidentally have EPROMs which are have corrupted data or partially erased or something, you know, unwittingly, unwittingly you know, having that happen. So I was trying to be helpful. Anyway, this guy was basically saying that um, it takes years for ambient light to erase an EPROM. Well, this took me less than a week. <laughs> okay, um, I haven't done anything to it. I had it sitting outside for about two hours the first day, right? In the sun, nothing happened. Okay, second day, I had it sitting on a windowsill in the sun, nothing happened. Third day, nothing happened. Fourth day, nothing happened. This has been five days, and now we've got some data corruption. Alright, so it took five days sitting on a windowsill right um, now it hasn't been sunny every day it's probably actually most of the time it's probably been overcast and cloudy to be honest um, it hasn't been great weather the past week there has been some sunny days or bits of sun, uh, sun during the day so it probably hasn't been exposed to that much to direct sunlight um, probably equivalent of two days of direct sunlight I'd say um, maybe two and a half of direct sunlight Bear in mind, this is out of a window, right? So it's only half the day is catching the sun fully as well, anyway. But it was kind of north facing, so it's, um, you know, it would have been getting a fair amount of sun. Either way, this has taken five days to corrupt the data on this EEPROM. You saw in the first part of the video where I'd actually, you know, saved the EEPROM and the code and showed you what the code was. And as you can see here, it's got random bits in here where it's starting to lose the data. Right, so that is five days. So yes, you can erase an EEPROM, or at least corrupt the data with daylight, but yes, it does take some time. It's not an immediate process. I never said it was an immediate process. But if you've got something sitting on a parts tray and it gets the sun come through the window, you know, an hour a day even, in a month, those parts are going to be erased. All right? So that's what I was trying to sort of cover, but anyway. Someone said it takes years. Well, no, it doesn't. This took me five days. All right? So, yeah. Obviously the results will vary. I mean, this, is, this particular chip is a TMM2732 Toshiba part. Um, a different chip might react differently. Might be worse, might be better. Um, where you are in the world. How much UV is around. What time of year it is. The cloud cover. That kind of stuff. All right, but this took five days. All right, so I wanted to show that. That, yes, it can get erased by ambient light. I mean, obviously I was trying to be harder because I actually had it in the window trying to actually cause it to, to fail but you know the same thing would happen if I stuck it on a shelf um, you're still going to get data corruption um, it would just take longer you know not years certainly but months and I don't want to make that long anyway so there you go I'll sort of show you that and uh, dispel that myth that it doesn't actually happen yes it does happen so have a good one catch you later remember to subscribe bye